Hi, uh, I am Dr. Radhna Gupta. I am an IVF specialist and uh, I am working as a director of uh, Radhna Test UBB Center, Bhopal. And I also work uh, in QRG Hospital, Faridabad and uh, uh, Fortisla Farm in uh, uh, Delhi. So uh, here we are going to talk about uh, infertility. And uh, um, as we all know uh, that infertility is the uh, it is uh, now increasing in uh, our country day by day and uh, if you take the infertility as a whole there are two partner involves one is the female and another is the male that means wife and husband we whenever there is a question of infertility we always uh, talk about the female and uh, we sometimes forget about the male part and here uh, we are going to discuss the male part uh, which uh, you will be surprised to know that in 50 percent or more than 50 percent cases uh, male factor alone or in combination with female is responsible for the infertility and so uh, it's uh, equally important to talk about the male factor and uh, um, uh, overall uh, if you see if we'll talk about the male factor the question is uh, how would we know that uh, the fault is it is in male so it's a very simple uh, test which is known as semen analysis or we can see the content of the semen uh, in the number of the sperm motility and other things um, that is a very simple test and uh, what i believe that that should be the first uh, you know investigation while we are uh, talking about the infertility so uh, once a couple comes to us uh, is the first and foremost test is the husband semen analysis if they have not undergone previously so uh, when it should be done um, there should be a gap of at least two days to get the proper report from uh, the uh, semen and uh, it's a simple microscopic test of the semen can tell the whole story that is sperms are there or not if they are there then what is the number then what is the motility and third is the morphology how they are looking like and uh, 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 if uh, uh, this is the one thing which uh, can make you sure that his pumps are there there are so uh, many other factors which we can see in the semen that is the volume of the semen that will tell about the other things and uh, then uh, another is the like a patient is able to uh, produce semen or not maybe sometimes patient is not able to produce and uh, sometimes it is a very small in volume or sometimes it is large in volume third is the uh, there are there could be a pest cell inside that will tell about the infection and uh, uh, we can see some lot of abnormal sperms inside or all the sperms are dead so these are the there are a lot of information we can get simple by a semen analysis then um, the second thing uh, if we say that uh, um, uh, if uh, there is no sperm in, in the semen so they are one percent uh, uh, out of all population can have this kind of the uh, finding that that is known as azoospermia and when we can say that it is azoospermia at we should examine at least two samples at minimum uh, duration between two samples should be one month at least so at a one month apart two uh, reports should say azoospermia then we can label as the azoospermia and uh, if there is azoospermia then we will come to that uh, why it is and uh, you know how it can be treated uh, second thing is the um, when uh, you see that the sample is abnormal then what to do then you have to take a de de detailed history of the male partner if there is any history of surgery if uh, he has undergone any trauma to the private parts or uh, like uh, has uh, some infection like mumps in the childhood or uh, undescended testes or um, uh, there could be uh, you know some some genetic factor which are uh, visible uh, like uh, there could be some dysmor dysmorphic features um, like in the Kleinfelter syndrome or uh, he is uh, developing beard and uh, mustache or not uh, that will uh, tell you about the you know a hypogonadotropic hypogonadism and so uh, detailed history and examination is very important in such case and uh, uh, if uh, we find something abnormal in the history or examination then we will have to go for the uh, further investigation like uh, karyotyping or there could you can go for the uh, scrotal uh, ultrasound or uh, trans uh, rectal ultrasound and um, uh, 
plus uh, there could be some like a uh, uh, severely diabetic patient they may have abnormal uh, semen findings and um, like the retrograde ejaculation could be there uh, as well as there could be a low sperm or abnormal sperm count would be more so uh, they th should be treated for that plus uh, if uh, uh, you find uh, there is no sperm at all then you can think about the obstruction you can think about some endocrinal uh, disorder and uh, you can uh, think about some infection uh, at the uh, private parts um, so um, now uh, what uh, uh, how could we divide the male factor so there are three things one is the pre-testicular other is the testicular and third is the post-testicular so these are the uh, uh, thing which may cause the abnormal semen but there are some uh, people uh, the, some uh, husband who, who are unable to do the intercourse or unable to ejaculate so this is another part uh, in which they have they may require psychological counseling or they might be suffering with some disorder which is affecting the ejaculation or that is a uh, uh, affecting the sexual intercourse phenomena then uh, third part is the like they are able to ejaculate but they nothing is come out so there could be total obstruction uh, at the level uh, of urethral and uh, there could be uh, some retrograde ejaculation that is why um, uh, the ejaculation is not there so that is known as the uh, aspermia and uh, um, uh, if we'll take the uh, that particular because majority uh, are those who are having the abnormal semen uh, factors so abnormal semen factor if we we'll take to so the this again can be divided into three parts one is the mild another is the moderate and third is the severe so who are the severe one who are having less than 5 million count that are the severe ones and 5 to 10 is the moderate and more than 10 is a mild and uh, mild uh, male factor can be treated by very simple procedure like IUI or uh, with some antioxidant and we can send for culture if we see the pustule and infection is there then we can treat them and by giving some uh, antioxidant and lifestyle changes we can correct the mild uh, uh, this uh, and uh, is this, uh, this uh, semen analysis factor and uh, if uh, there is a moderate part then again we have uh, uh, IUI uh, number one and if it fails then we can go for the IVF or ICSI but if it is a severe male factor that is the number is less than 10 or a lot of the abnormal sperm or a lot of the non uh, motile sperm then uh, it's better that uh, we go for the IVF directly and we can do IVF uh, ICSI that is a intracytoplasmic sperm injection by which we, uh, we can directly inject one sperm into the one egg so uh, this is the uh, actual thing which can be done for the severe male factor so uh, what are the causes of uh, male infertility so we can uh, find out there are a lot of uh, uh, environmental factor like pollution uh, talk there are a lot of toxins like uh, uh, there are some dyes uh, if somebody is working in a dye factory or if, if your occupation is like that that you have to stand for the long hours in a hot environment that can affect uh, your uh, semen analysis your semen parameters and uh, uh, there could be uh, you know a lot of psychological factors like a lot of stress because the, there's a lot of competition so uh, late night uh, working hours and these all affect uh, your overall health as well as your reproductive performance and so uh, these these are the ones another is the infection so there are few infection uh, in the local part mums in a childhood or local infection like balanopostitis prostatitis they can also uh, reduce your uh, semen parameters and uh, um, causes infertility diabetes uh, uh, in turn may affect in both ways by produce by causing infection reducing your immunity and secondly diabetes per se uh, reduce the libido as well as uh, that means that your sexual drive uh, it reduces it and uh, uh, plus it can cause a retrograde ejaculation that means your uh, the semen which is which should come up, come out it goes into the back in, in the urinary bladder and that is why nothing is visible while uh, we see the ejaculation 
person to uh, they are some uh, person who are taking some you know uh, treatment for cancer or uh, other things so anti cancer agent they again uh, affect your uh, this uh, uh, semen parameter and um, uh, undescended testes uh, uh, is one thing which uh, uh, reduces your uh, uh, semen uh, parameter or completely azoospermia to so such cases uh, we uh, treat by giving uh, medicine like antioxidant good diet healthy diet healthy lifestyle uh, your uh, good sleep and uh, you know cool uh, environment and uh, um, uh, airy clothes uh, like uh, la less use of the laptop and uh, mobile phone uh, by which uh, reducing the radiation and uh, we can improve the count but uh, if there is a uh, there is no improvement even with all these things then we uh, have to go for the one of the modality of uh, uh, treatment for infertility like ivf uh, intracytoplasmic sperm injection xc or uh, if there is totally no sperm then we have to take sperm out from the testes directly uh, from that uh, if we want to take sperm directly from testes then there are some different method if there is a block then we can take from epididymis that is known as pisa percutaneous epididymal sperm aspiration and uh, if there is uh, no block but still sperms are not there then we do the tessa that is testicular extraction of the sperm and uh, if uh, the still uh, they, we are not finding the sperm or it is uh, difficult to find the good number of the tubules in which sperms are forming we can go for the microscopic uh, sperm extraction and so that is uh, another thing with by which we can find out the good tubules and healthy tubules and we uh, see them in the microscope uh, find the uh, that they are having sperms or not if we find the sperm we inject in the egg and make the embryo and uh, uh, by which uh, you can father your own child so uh, what is the take home message take home message is uh, whenever we go for the treatment for infertility then it's better that my husband wife both should meet the doctor and it's a couple counseling uh, first thing is the hu husband should give the semen for the examination and then the test on the female should be started second uh, take home message is if you are having some problem in your semen uh, count or semen motility then maybe simple treatment and simple change in the lifestyle will uh, make the all the things clear and uh, uh, if there is some severe defect then there are different other options like iva intracytoplasmic sperm injection uh, ixc and uh, uh, there could be uh, if there is no sperm at all then uh, tisa pisa misa these are the uh, procedure which can help you uh, having the sperm but even if nothing is fail nothing is working then we may have we may take sperm from the bank which, which are known as semen bank and we can father uh, you with a uh, sperm of the same blood blood group and same profile which you are having and we can make the embryo and make your family complete thank you very much